welcome back to New Day Vlogs. I hope that you guys are all having a super fabulous weekend. Happy Sunday. In today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a cleaning video for you guys, and I'm also going to show you um, a couple of purchases I made from Bath & Body Works. I bought three new candles that I'm super excited about while they were on clearance. They were actually having a $10 sale on all of their candles. Well, I don't know about all of the candles, but on certain candles that they were clearancing out. So I ended up getting three of those. And then also, I wanted to show you guys the puzzle that my dad finished this week. He's getting ready to go out of town today to go to my aunt's house. And um, he has been working on this Alice in Wonderland puzzle literally all week long. He finally finished it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And he did a great job putting it together. So I'm going to show you that here in just a second. Um... So sorry, you guys, that this video has not gone up sooner. I had every intention of actually uploading it today and filming it yesterday. But unfortunately, this is what has happened. My uh, dad had to go down to his house. Um, I had to take him down there yesterday, and he was going to get cleaned up and get some clothing and stuff together to come back down here for the night again. And um, we went down there, and we walked in the house, and it was absolutely freezing cold. So we found out that his actual um, HVAC system was not working. We had to call um, the service team um, that does, you know, repairs and stuff and get them out to take a look at it to see what's causing it not to heat up because they have an actual furnace, like an oil furnace type heating in their home. And so, um, they came out, um, I don't think they actually ended up getting there until about 6.30 uh, yesterday evening. And we had errands to run all day. Um, so, to make a long story short, they came out, they worked on it for about an hour and a half. He got it working. He said it just had some debris in the line and that was what, what was causing it not to uh, get enough oil to the actual um, unit itself. So, um, you could turn it on and it would turn on for maybe 15 seconds and then it would shut right off. And then, um, so he, he cleaned it out. It seemed to be working fine when he left. He did say that we should not have any more problems getting it to, um, stay on. And I just had this feeling last night about, um, 1130 to go back down there and check on the heat before I went to bed to make sure that it was still running. It was not to my surprise. So, um... Had to call him back out there and he could, still couldn't figure out what was wrong. He did clean it out again, but this time he did end up staying for at least a, a couple of hours to make sure everything was working properly. So you guys, I did not get home until 2 o'clock in the morning. This video did not get, um, I did not get finished filming this video and therefore I did not get to upload it and have it uploaded this morning for you guys. So today, since we were gone all day yesterday during the day and we had his heating problems at his house last night. Um, I'm going to be uh, filming today, and then this should be uploaded tomorrow. So you guys will see this cleaning video on Monday. But, um, yep, I'm really tired today. I've been drinking a lot of caffeine to try to, to stay more awake. But so far, his heat is working great. And it's doing okay, and I just pray that it doesn't happen again. Because um, I'm not really sure what's caused it to happen to begin with, and neither did the guy. So... Say a prayer for us because, <laughs> you guys, I'm a little bit nervous about his heat. And it's been so cold here in North Carolina. Last night was 15 degrees. And that type of weather can cause the pipes to burst. And we just don't want it to have that. We just don't want to have that um, happen at their house because that has happened in the past at the cost of $4,000. So, yeah. Also, you guys, wanted to show you we have had the worst luck this year starting out already. Um, I'm going to sit down for a minute. Okay. So you guys, I had the uh, roofer out here the other day so he could tarp our screen and porch because we have not been able to get that work done on it yet because it's very expensive. So I went ahead and had him come out and take a look at it and tarp it for us. And after he left, I went to go get a shower and found out that our ceiling and our bathroom is also leaking so there's a possibility that we may that we may need to uh, replace our whole entire roof um, that the roofing contractor did say that a roof needs to be replaced but it wasn't crucial that the screened and porch was crucial but now that we have a leak in our bathroom our keep in mind our newly remodeled bathroom upstairs um, 
yeah it's got a leak in it and it has left a water stain on the ceiling it's not a huge stain but it is still there nonetheless so i have to get um either the, i either have to get it patched or i'm gonna have to get it completely replaced I'll show you the actual ceiling in the bathroom. I'm so glad I did not texturize the ceiling yet, you guys. I was planning on finishing it out and painting it, but fortunately, I'm very glad that I didn't because now it's got a huge water stain on the ceiling. So let me show you that, and then I'm gonna show you my dad's puzzle and my three candles that I bought, and then we will get started cleaning. So I'll see you back in just a second. Okay, guys, so as you're walking into our bathroom, you can actually see that um, the ceiling has not been, I mean, it's brand new sheetrock. We are going to lightly texturize this. And this is what I noticed as I was getting ready to take a shower the other day. Yeah. Can you see it? Yep. We have a leak. I'm so bad. <laughs> oh, I just literally can't even, I just can't even. So yeah, we have a leak and that needs to be fixed, patched, or the roof needs to be replaced. I am worried about it um, causing issues later on um, in other parts of the house and that would not be good to have to replace, that would not be good to have to replace the whole ceiling inside because of water damage. So you guys, yep, that's it. That's the leak in our bathroom. So say a prayer for us because it seems like everything is just starting out great this year. <laughs> Oh, hopefully we can actually get a, um, get the loan from the bank and just get a new roof on and that will be one less project out of the way. I mean, the whole roof can be replaced along with the screen and porch roof and then we won't have to worry about having more issues later on of getting one roof fixed and then the other falling apart. So yeah, we shall see. I'll let you guys know and keep you posted on that. This is the actual puzzle that my dad just worked. This is a puzzle of Alice in Wonderland. This puzzle is just absolutely beautiful. And I have to say that this was a very challenging puzzle, not just for him, I mean, but, you know, I even had a hard time trying to figure out what went where. I mean, of course, it's pretty easy to, to find your main focus, you know, of Alice, you know, and put her together, but there's so many details in this puzzle, like small details, and you have to like, I mean, there's a lot of the same colors and stuff, so it was a really hard puzzle to put together in my opinion, but um, he did it. He did, I think he did probably about 80% of this puzzle and I, I kind of helped him throughout the week on and off. We kind of worked on it each day a little bit at a time and we got it finished. Um, he actually finished it last night. So we actually strive every time we put together a puzzle to finish it before he has to go back to my aunt's house at the end of the week. So he did a great job. I was really concerned. I didn't think this puzzle would get done this week because there's just, it was a, it's a pretty big size puzzle. As you can tell, I mean, this is our, our dining room table and it's not huge, but it's not small, but that puzzle is pretty big. So dad did a really good job and I'm very proud of him.
So guys, I actually started cleaning the dining room table and afterwards you can see that I put the chairs on top of the table and did not get to film anymore because my battery died. So you did not get to see the part with me cleaning the actual floors. So sorry about that.